everyone today i'd like to share with you the secrets of creating a dynamic power bi report that can change color at the click of a button something that looks like this let's look at these beautiful sales and marketing reports with buttons that you can click and as you click them the colors of the visualizations are changing what do you think how awesome is that that was snippets of sales and marketing sample reports, which was published by Microsoft in Power BI Surface as a source of inspiration for all Power BI users. And I must say that I was truly inspired by the creative use of button selections and bookmarks. However, it took me a while to figure out how to rebuild the report from scratch, as it uses combinations that are a bit difficult to comprehend when you are still new to Power BI. So if you are feeling confused by bookmarks, buttons, and selections, don't worry, you are not alone. In this video, I want to help you to take away those confusions. If you are already familiar with the concept of bookmarks, button, and selection, feel free to skip through the timeline and jump straight to step-by-step -step method of recreating the charts and reports. To make it easier to understand, I have chosen to simplify the report into something that look like this. So we have a simplified report here, just one chart, two buttons, and two slices on top. And if you click the button, press control click, watch, the colors of the bar charts are changing. When the buttons are clicked, the title of the chart changes and the color of the bar charts also change dynamically. What's the secret? You need to understand three important concepts. Concept number one, objects in Power BI can be shown or hidden via selection pane. What do I mean by that? Let me show you. First concept, objects can be shown or hidden. What are objects? Objects are anything that can be found on a page. And you can go to view selections and see the list of objects in this page. There's a green circle, test text, title, and line. And on the right side in here, there is an icon, which if you click it, notice how everything is now hidden. And if you unclick it, now they're shown. That's the meaning of object can be hidden or shown as you wish. Concept number two, we can use bookmarks in Power BI to remember various display state, hidden or shown. What do I mean by that? Let me show you. How do we create bookmarks in Power BI? Go to view, bookmarks, and bookmark selection pane will appear on the right, and you can click at, and it will remember this page, which is concept two. Show everything. And if you hide this circle, for example, we can create another bookmark. Let's rename this, double click, concept to hide circle. And if you click show everything, the circle is shown. If you click hide circle, circle disappear. And if you're in another page, a bookmark can bring you to that page concept too. And concept number three, we can create buttons linked to bookmarks. Buttons are objects that can be clicked and then something will happen after you click them. Let me show you. Concept number three, we can use buttons linked to bookmark. Let's create them together. Go to insert buttons. Let's create our first blank button. Click and drag that to the middle. Click and drag to make it bigger. And then, Hit format button pane on the right and let's assign an action. Turn it on and scroll down and change the type to bookmark and assign the bookmark that we previously created that was called show everything. Yeah. Now remember to also name the button so the text is currently off. 
So if you open that and turn it on, and the text, we can call it show everything. And it's a little bit small, so let's make that 22. Okay. So now, if we control click, voila, it brings us to that previous bookmark. Yeah. Now, we can copy that quite easily. I just click control C and control V. And let's make this one a different bookmark so that instead of show everything, we want to hide circle. Yeah. Let's also update the text and change that to hide. Let's test it. Control click. Circle is now hidden. Yeah, nice. And you can also control C, select both of them, and then press them here. Control C and Control V to the other page so that you can use this button in yeah. Once you have understood the three important concepts that I mentioned earlier, let's analyze our simple report together. Let's analyze the objects. How many do we have? Hidden, what's shown? Click selections, that selection pane is shown. And let's analyze the number of objects in this report. Notice how we've got some object hidden and some not hidden. We have two slices. So if you click the slices, you can see which one they are. Lines, title, and interestingly, how many buttons do we have? One, two, three, four. Two hidden, two not hidden. And, and uh, two charts, one hidden, one not. Let's also analyze the buttons. Which bookmarks are they linked to? Yes, the secret is to create charts with different colors some hidden, some shown at different time, depending on which button were click. Get this concept, great and congratulations. If not, don't worry, I will show you how we can create the simple report together step by step. Step one, let's create the charts and slicer. Let's recreate the simplified report together. I'm going to copy the slices as well as the chart and Put that into our new page in here. Control C, Control V. I'm going to hit Don't Sync. Yeah. So this is our online channel sales by product. Notice filtering is happening. There is filter for this visual, which is by channel. I'm going to copy the chart and then create another one for the social channel. Yeah. So untick online, make it social. And then let's also update the title. And then change the color to blue. Nice, first step done. Step two, let's pile them up neatly. Now that we have our two charts side by side, the next step is to pile them up together. How do we do that? What we are going to do is click visualization and go to pane and look at the location by clicking general. Not the X and Y, 206 and 169. And we want to make sure that the same number is entered in here for the second chart. I'm just going to change the X to 206. The 169 is already the same. And notice how now they are piling on top of one another. Step three, let's create the bookmarks. The next step is to create bookmarks so that we can show one chart at a time. How do we do that? Go to view bookmarks so that we can see the bookmark pane and let's add new bookmark. Yeah. So we are going to call the first one show online. Before we do that, let's show selections and hide social show online yeah that's what we want so let's update that one more time yeah that's show online and then the next one will be show social which means we want to hide online and so social 
and then hit add and double click show social now let's test the bookmark show online working show social working wonderful step four let's create buttons linked to those bookmarks next let's create our button go to insert buttons let's create a blank one let's go to format button go down to action type should be bookmark and link it to the bookmark that say show online and let's put a text on the button so that it's not blank turn that text on and call it online and let's do a bit of formatting so that the color becomes pink when we hover on it and also pink when we press it yeah. and let's test that look at that yeah, lovely now click ctrl c ctrl v and let's recycle this button so that the text is saying not online but social and then in the um, in the fill we want that to be blue instead of pink and on press is also blue and last but not least in the action let's make that link to not show online but show social now let's check it look at that Control click instead of just click now that's blue step five let's test and format the buttons now let's do a bit of sand checking let's change the filter to august and let's click oh no what happened it's back to october click may or, or june oh no it's back again so the bookmark is remembering the various filtering options we need to modify that yeah because we don't want the filter to be reset when someone is clicking that buttons how do we do that very very simple just untick data when data is untick then the filter only remember the display state it does not take the various filtering options so let's try it again say June let's click the button look at that it's changing and the filter is still the same and we are done congratulations now you know the secret to creating a dashboard that can change color at the click of a button using combination of selection bookmarks and buttons I hope you find this video useful and that you will be able to apply the knowledge in your future Power BI reports. See you next time.